Do Telecom proudly presents The Entrepreneur, the TV show that will determine new pioneers with groundbreaking business ideas. The winner of the competition will be awarded 2 million dirhams, which includes 1 million dirhams investment from Do, a telecom's bundle of business services supplied by Do, one year's free office space courtesy of Silicon Oasis founders, an advertising and PR package from the Leo Burnett Group, mentoring and networking support provided by WAMDA, 12 months of advisory and consultancy assistance from Ernst & Young, free media and editorial from CPI. episode of The Entrepreneur and it all comes down to this, the moment of truth, the moment where we finally found out who is The Entrepreneur and who will be walking away with two million dirhams. This is the moment we've all been waiting for and influence is going to play a huge part in the next couple of minutes and hours because that's what they need. They really need to summon at the moment in order to convince our panel of expert judges that they are the person that should be the entrepreneur. So, let's remind ourselves of how our finalists got this far. Lulu from Nebish. Abdul Ghani from FlyConnect. Faisal and Mohammed from Alink. First, they made it through the auditions. I'd like to give you the good news that you are in. You're in. Thank Mabruk. You. Thank you. You're fantastic, you're a great team, and you're definitely in. Then, they went through a full day of workshops, reworked on their business ideas, and again, they were chosen out of 10 other contestants. Our three finalists had to go through three different tasks before reaching the finale. A financial task, followed by a communication one, and last but not least, a management task. Time now to meet those all-important judges who will be having their final say in just a little while. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. Amuna, I'd just like to start with you. The finalists are very nervous. What are you looking for today? You know these guys. You've seen them on several occasions. What do you want to see today? I'm looking for a complete evolution from the first stage to the final stage that they have reached. I'm looking for something a little bit more comprehensive than what we've seen already. We started with an idea. I'd like to see the business plan, the management, the marketing all coming together in one today. Well, for me, my entrepreneur needs to be a winner, and he needs to be a complete manager. I want to know what they're made of. First, do they deserve to win? And can they really do it and be stars out there and inspire other people? So we've heard what the judges are looking for from our finalists. Let's hear from somebody who's been on the journey with them from the start. Anthea Ayash joins us in the Entrepreneur Studio for the first time. Welcome to Entrepreneur HQ. Thank you, it's nice to be here. Uh, we're all together for the first time, if you like, having seen the three finalists come together. You've been with them from the start. Have our three finalists changed at all? Changed, I'm not sure, but I think they've certainly progressed. I mean, they've been thrown into so many different scenarios. And go on, tell us, no one's listening. Have you got a favourite? Oh, I've, you know, <laughs> I've been putting everybody on the spot like this, and it's not fair, no. I might have, but I'm not giving the game away. Well, we won't put you on the spot. Thank you yet again. First up in front of the panel, please welcome Abdul Khani. Hello, Tom. Hey, listen, I sat with the judges a little earlier on today. They're judging on business sense. There are no favorites in this competition. Sure. So it's over to you now to really convince them that you should be the entrepreneur. Are you ready? I'm ready. The judges are ready. The floor is yours. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. From the heart of the Arab world, from Dubai, a new technology was born. This technology that I'm confident about 
will be the next big thing in external storage. The technology which has evolved during this show is now more mature and has more clear plan in the future. Now, from the very basic question, why Fly Connect? There is a basic need from the frustration of the customers that they are not able to transmit files except through a mediator. The solution was a wireless, a wireless device with multiple functionalities where you can send files anywhere at any time. Now, I kept a surprise for the final pitch, which is a feature in our device, which is a virus-free USB flash memory. Our device can guarantee 100% virus-free, and it's also password protected. Now, the most important thing is the advice that I got from the technical expert is that FlyConnect should not be only one device. We can have several devices with several sizes, with, depending on the needs of the customers and their usability. Uh, the future of FlyConnect, we will be planning to have everything virtually uh, connecting to iClouds and to Dropbox. The market access will be licensing the product and will be having a 50 cent per unit sold. Now let's see how we are going to make our profit. The first year, by the end of 2013, we'll be making a 500,000 unit sold, which will give us a profit of $250,000. And this is the first year will be around 0.2 percentage share. In the next years, we'll be doubling and tripling the production to have a large access to the market in the whole globe. And by the end of year 2016, we'll be having 8 million and 5,000 devices sold with only 3% market share. The total for this projection into the four, four years, it will be $7.2 million as pure profit for our company. The budget that we are requesting is 800,000 dirham. The break-even cost, uh, break cost will be at the fourth quarter of the 2013th year. Now, why we are requesting $220,000? Basically, this is the budget that we have set. It's related to the legal terms, the patent that we have to, to proceed with, the office space, the team that we are going to recruit. Now, the supply chain, FlyConnect, will be responsible on some of, the uh, some of the steps. So basically, you have the design, you have the implementation, you have the verification, distribution, and then sale and support. Now, uh, in a nutshell, the ad that we have done during the show, I believe it says it all. Fly Connect, every share has a reason. It's a wireless USB. It con it, you can share at any time with anyone. Abdel Ghani? Yes. We've already spent a lot of time. We've given you advice. We've given you feedback. I think that the purpose of today is not for us to comment on the final presentation. Our comment is going to be who's going to win. Correct. That at this stage, that's going to be the only answer we're going to give out to anyone. Correct. Correct. Thank you. We will find out very shortly. Will Fly Connect Fly for the judges? That's it. They've heard it. We'll find out a little more as we continue with the final, final presentations after the break. Welcome back to The Entrepreneur, where things really are hotting up down here on the grand finale. Uh, now, we've heard from one of our three finalists. Tension is building backstage, and quite rightly so. There's two million dirhams at stake here. So time now to hear from the second of our three finalists. Let's bring on out Lulu. From day one with Nabush, we've tried to create a brand. It was very important to create values to let the people know that we are listening, that we want to engage you, that we want to adapt our brand to what you need and tailor something that adds value to you. So what we've done is we've identified three key target audiences, which in our opinion are still on tap. The women, the youth, and the SMEs. And we asked these people, what do they want? So what do women want? They need validation, they need to be uh, acknowledge as 
members of the society, as contributors, as mothers, as entrepreneurs, as, as multitaskers. And then we went out to universities and we engaged with the youth and with the students. And we asked them, what do you want? One, they want to be social and they want to connect with like-minded people. They also want to make extra money on the side and they also would love to get that real life work experience that they can use when they submit that first CV. And then we went and asked SMEs, what do you want? They want to grow, they want to cut costs, and they want an immediate access to talent. So based on the feedback okay, that we got during this show, uh, and during the past five months, and during the past month that we've been live, I had a chat yesterday with, uh, with uh, our developers, and we're kind of redesigning the portal to address the stickiness point that, that we discussed. So what we're gonna do is we came up with solutions. I'm not gonna tell you the details, but all I can tell you is we're gonna make the website more real-time, as in real-time updates, real-time feeds, real-time job posts, etc. And we're gonna make it more of a collaborative platform, so, so more social, more interactive. So what's been done to date? Okay, to date, I have focused on building a company culture. We have three key values, okay, which, which I believe are very important uh, for success. One, it's empathy. It means that we understand what people want and we understand not what they want, but, but, the, but the, the need beneath those wants. So what motivates people? Innovation, because we have to innovate and stay on top of the game, stay ahead of the curve, ahead of the competition, make sure we're always ahead, we're always uh, you know, a, step, a step ahead. And agility, because in, in, these, in these times, you have to be agile. You have to be able to change quickly, adapt quickly, uh, strange, change your strategy based on, on what's happening, especially in technology, and we, and we all know that. And I've worked many times on the business plan, focusing on the ways to generate revenues, the different channels that we have, and the wealth of information that we're going to collect from people once we start analyzing the, the data. Uh, to basically be able to develop more features and add more value to people. And all of these will be obviously uh, profitable. Wrapping up, why uh, I think you should invest in Nubbish? Because one, it's a service that has the potential to positively touch the lives of millions of people in the MENA region. I believe it's a great business model and it's highly scalable. It's built on technology, which is the future. And why me? <clears throat> Because obviously everybody invests in, uh, in people. I'm a very determined person and I mean I went into this project full on. This is what I'm doing and I'm fully dedicated to it. Because I believe I am a leader uh, and I'll tell you why. A lot of people uh, who are consultants currently for Nabish are working for free. Now I think it's the ultimate leadership trait to get somebody to believe in your cause and work for free because they believe in Nubbish so much and its potential, so they're willing to, to help me build it and help me make it through. And lastly, because I'm a very fair person and I have empathy, good or bad, I think it's, it's, it's something that sets me apart. And I have set very high expectations for myself and my company. And I know that you believe in Nubbish because otherwise I won't be here. So I'm here to ask for your support to make it happen. Thank you. It is now time to bring to the stage for one final time the entrepreneur, Mohamed and Faisal. Uh, it, it was one of the most difficult things for us to do last night, uh, to come together and think about what we were going to say. Uh, and, you know, we wanted to give you new content and we wanted to give you something you haven't seen before. And uh, it's so difficult because you understand our business concept at this point. Uh, so we were trying to see what the best we could do is. Um, we. You know, we're very, very devoted and passionate and driven uh, to make this project a reality. And the best part is that we've actually created something that exists. And this thing is a, the platform, the systems that we have in place that we want to take forward. We want to grow much larger. And we have very uh, big plans, not just locally, but also regionally, which we really want to make a reality. This is something we dream about. This is something we stand for. And this is something we're, we're going to push forward no matter what it takes. Uh, you know, over the past few weeks, we did have uh, a few very valid concerns that were raised, uh, some that we brought, front, uh, brought forth and some that were actually pointed out by uh, the judges and also the coaches, uh, which have been very useful for us, a very wonderful learning experience. First, from an operational financial perspective, 
there were uh, two main concerns that stood out. Uh, one was uh, a, a suggestion from Hans uh, about our uh, valuing our uh, time differently. So, for example, a PA that would stand in line would be valued very differently from a PA who's actually doing office work crunching numbers. Uh, you know, we believe that that's not the best route to go for two main reasons. First, we believe that um, the value should be driven by the customer, depending on how urgent, how critical the need of that value is. And secondly, we don't want to complicate the product further. We want to keep it simple for the customers. The second operational uh, concern uh, was uh, a comment made about chasing after the money. Uh, basically, the fact that every time we increase our capacity, our costs increase, so we'll always be trying to run after that profitability that will never come. Uh, we believe that the best way to tackle this is through the uh, use of technology and also through the use of tools that make our processes more efficient and to be able to increase the utilization of one PA so they could serve more than one client. That way we can reduce our costs of expansion and have uh, you know, some kind of control on this. From a branding and positioning perspective, we've identified on several occasions that we do have, uh, we somehow don't give the best, the best first impression when it comes to our brand. Um, uh, first of all, we don't have consistency when it comes across all our platforms. So there's no emotional attachment when it comes to the customer or to the prospect when it comes to our brand uh, for a link personal assistance. Um, on uh, how we, we want to tackle that is to have a unified identity, which we have already come up with. Just to summarize these points, I mean, we, you know, yes, we've identified in the past few weeks that there are issues. But I think what's important to note is that we're really willing to look and learn and make sure we improve every little aspect of this. And we're willing and committed. We haven't come this far. We haven't put in our personal wealth, our you know, sleepless nights, uh, give up our social lives, give up our family time, which is very important in this part of the world, just for this project for no reason. We make sure that we're going to do everything it takes to make this a successful story, not only for this local market, but also for the region. Before I hand it over for questions, I do want to do one thing. I want to call our PAs and just put in a task real quick. Hello? Welcome to Link Personal Assistance, Mr. Kazim. This is Sakina. How may I help you? Hi, Sakina. We're actually on the show, The Entrepreneur, and uh, I just wanted to put in a task. That's great. Um, what task would that be? Uh, can you please ask all the PAs in the office to pray for us that we win this show? OK. Um, can I just uh, acknowledge the task towards you? Um, you would like all of the PAs to get together and pray for success towards the entrepreneur show? That is correct, Sakina. Thank you. That would be great. Fantastic. We hope that everything works out really well for you. Thank you very much, Thank Sakina. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. I can confirm the results are in. The judges have reached a unanimous verdict, so we'll be finding out who our entrepreneur is very, very shortly. Time now to find out who the winner is. The moment of truth, if you like. And the only people that know that at the moment are our judges. Judges, you've reached a decision. Moon, I understand you have it. Yes. Wonderful stuff. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, so the answer to all of our questions is in this envelope. And only the judges themselves know exactly who has won the competition. They've actually sealed the envelope as well, so nobody other than the judges have seen the name of our winner. Without further ado, I think it's time to announce who has won the entrepreneur. Again, guys, are you ready? And the winner of The Entrepreneur is... Not going to be announced by me because it is our absolute pleasure to welcome now to the show the CEO of Do, Mr Osman Sultan. Thank you very much indeed, sir, for agreeing to join us and welcome. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. And it's really great. Uh, to be here today to witness all this excitement to witness all this passion and I want to start by really thanking all the candidates regardless of the outcome today regardless who is going to be 
the entrepreneur, I think you did a great job uh, reaching the stage and I really want to uh, thank you all. Uh, you must be really eager now to, to, to <laughs> see the outcome. You ready? Yeah, yeah. we are. Thank great. You for your time. Of course, I'd like as well to thank our judges because I think uh, it has been uh, a lot of hard work. It has been a lot of debates. Thank you for uh, being with these young uh, talents and uh, entrepreneurs. And uh, without uh, you, I think the moment is here, Tom. I think the final thanks has to be to you, sir, for being with us. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to have you. And would you do us the honor of telling us who is going to be two million dirhams better off for their business idea? The honor is mine, but the hard work as well, because that's tough. I've heard that the jury had really a lot of debates, which should be something that you should all feel proud of, because it means that the three projects were really great, but like often in life, you know, it's one winner. That's the rule, and, uh, but I want you all to feel really good. You are entrepreneurs, you reach here, and uh, the journey is ahead of you. Moment. The moment is upon us. Who is, is going here? to be winning a million dirhams cash investment from do and a million dirhams? I can is... sense the impatience here. I can <laughs> feel it. The winner of the entrepreneur is. Lulu for nabesh.com. Congratulations to Lulu. Congratulations. To Mr. Sultan Al. Thanks, of course, to all the judges. How are you feeling, Lulu? Oof. <laughs> Can you put it in uh, words? No. No. Just a couple of words, maybe? Uh, no. What does it mean for you? Uh, it's, uh, it's, I think, the biggest achievement of my life so far. This is something you've been working on for so uh, many for years. Over a year, actually. You've so, left uh, your job, you left safe uh, employment some yeah. time ago to pursue these dreams. Absolutely. You're halfway there. I'm very happy. Um, thank you very much. Well, um, Congratulations. Overwhelmed. Thank Let's you. Let's get some thoughts from our panel of judges uh, after what was a long, long deliberation. Any final words for our winner and also for our runners-up? Abdul Basid. Entrepreneurs really put their paths in front. Firm believers, they will do it regardless. Lulu, Mabrook. Thank you. Uh, we look forward to see it up there. It was a challenge for us to choose the best. But I believe, as Abdul Basit said, this is just the beginning of the journey. Ms. Reem. Lulu, congratulations. Thank you. We're very proud of your achievement. You. We liked your final presentation. You really hit all the spots that we were looking for. To the other uh, finalists, congratulations as well. I see that you've come a long way. We've provided you with a lot of support and advice along the way. And I know that that's going to help you take your next steps forward towards achieving your dreams. Best of luck. And finally, Yogesh. I must say that you guys have really made us sweat. It was not easy for us. <laughs> and we really worked hard, probably harder than you, to get the number one here. But I think, in our opinion, you are all number one. God bless. Thank you. Well, thank you very much indeed, again, to our judges, without whom we could not have done this. Uh, thank you very much indeed to you, Mr. Sultana, as well, for announcing the winner. Uh, all the best to our runners-up. As, as you heard there, the journey has just begun for you. You've come a very, very long way. You're the top three out of up of 2,000 applications. That is an achievement itself. And Lulu, yeah. congratulations. <laughs> thank you. The hard work thank starts you. tomorrow. Yes, Definitely. absolutely. That is... It from us. The thanks, of course, to Mr. Sultan for all of his efforts. Thanks to the judges. Thanks to Anthea as well, who's been with us throughout. Thanks to the runners-up and, finally, to our winner. Lulu has been crowned the entrepreneur. A future has just been paved. Thanks for watching The Entrepreneur.